white line it's like coming up to the white cliffs of Dover because you know then the next 10 seconds here is just brutal you'd pop off that first jump you'd land here this was quite easy it was quite pain and you'd hit this one and oh, you take off from there what sort of speed come on? you're doing 80 here 80 or 85 miles an hour you'd, you'd hit the, um, the the landing point there which, and literally you just you just have five meters and then you would take off again and it just came so fast I mean it was just ridiculous and, and, and it hit you because you can see it's quite a flat landing and if you didn't have your balance right or anything it catapult you into the way I mean nowadays because they've got the space they'll be and a friend of mine Uli Spies he was the first one to jump it they now jump from this jump over and land on the third, so it actually has taken the sting out of the tail from there. So it was just too far for us in, in our time. Yeah. And um, yeah, you just you come literally the, the last sort of 20 yards, you're sitting in that in your tucky, and you just you know you haven't got a clue what's going to happen because you can't you 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 have no control of how it's going to happen. You just have to react to what's happening. It's just like skimming stone. So we'll go down to that jump. As I said, they're jumping over it now, so they'll probably be 30 feet in the air at this point. <laughs> if you're standing at the, you know, can you imagine the art that they could do to do that? So, 